Hello everyone and welcome to Bedpost Product Reviews, the show where I usually review fun toys with funny people, but today that ain't, just, that ain't happening. But I have a fantastic review, just me all by my lonesome, and that is with a fun little device we like to call the Pussy Trap, and it is by Terrible Toy Shop. Now, uh, if the name isn't giving you any, you know, big ideas, basically it's a labia spreader and labia clamp at the same time. So it's like this and the labia are spread open and clamped down. And upon looking at it, like, you can see that it's that 3D printing design. Um, I actually... <laughs> I had this for a while without knowing what it was for. I thought it was some sort of CBT device. But when I realized that it was for labia, I got really excited actually because I don't have really like sensitive outer labia. So I was like, ooh, maybe I can like take some pain there. Not to toot my own labia horn or anything. <laughs> and yeah, I think it just like feels good for a masochist to like get pain. Toy. I mean, it feels good as a masochist when you can take a lot of pain. God, that's what I meant. And when I tried it, um, also I thought it was going to be like really difficult to get on, but it was really easy actually because I thought I would have to like hold my labia spread while I like did all of this and tightened it and stuff like that. But then I just remembered, okay, you could like figure it out and then you could shut it enough that you wouldn't have to like hold it there like it would stay in place and then you just tightened it so it's actually pretty easy to put on the other thing that i was like a little wary of i've tried um other items from terrible toy shop and they are 3d printed so you know that's a porous material so i was a little little wary about having this near the genitals just because of bacteria um when you clean it yeah like when you look into the teeth there are lots of little places that bacteria can get hidden Although it's not being like used internally, still it's like near the genitals. So something that I wasn't super thrilled about. And then the other thing, I was thinking like when this was on, I don't know if I'd be able to like fit a dildo in or like fit my vibrator in. I didn't think there'd be enough room. And then also like if you're wearing it, this is pointing out. So if you're gonna use it and then have like PIV sex with a partner, that's not going to be like the comfiest thing to be ramming against somebody's pubic area. <laughs> but I was pleasantly surprised because you could get a toy in there, no problem. Um, yes, sex with like an actual person wasn't the best way to use this toy, but they could use toys on you, both like clitorally and bad vanilla lolly. I like that I was able to like take a clamp with confidence. Like I think nipple clamps and stuff like that I'm not really great with so I was really happy to be I could like keep this on for a long time and then when I took it off it was kind of like oof when I took it off but other than that it was totally manageable type of thing for me so it was nice so yes got that echoed so yes that is my review of the pussy trap from Terrible Toy Shop. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will tune in next time for another Bed Post Product Reviews Ovid Edition. Just me, baby. Bye!